Welcome scholars. Let's take a look at how you can do your equations for your bowling ball power lab right up. So for doing the calculation of work, we can type work equals force times distance equals, I'm just going to make up some numbers here, 60 newtons times, let's say it was 2.1 meters up plus 2.1 meters down equals 60 times 4.2 equals 252 joules. If you want to make it stand out, you can make it bold. And let's take a look now at how you would do a calculation that involves a fraction. Let me delete this old one here. Okay. All right, so for power, we need to use fractions. Here we go to insert equation. Now we can start typing power equals, go to this drop down menu, this one here, click the A over B. Now you can type in work on top, press the right arrow key, it takes you to the bottom, time. Press the right arrow key, takes you next to the equation. Now I can type in equals. I'm going to put another fraction in there. And on top, the work was 252 joules. On bottom, um, let's say it was 1.43 seconds. I'm pressing the right arrow key. Now we can do the calculation. Equals 180 and joules per second will give us watts. Um, this equation editor isn't ideal. It doesn't let you do some things. Really, all these units should not be italicized. But you have no way of undoing that until Google Docs updates their um, their program. Um, and it would be nice to make work and time bigger so it was easier to read. And there isn't really a good way to change that either. Uh, although you can try to change font size, but I don't think it does anything. No, it doesn't. I've heard that putting a space in front can change things if you now do it like that. No, nope, I think we're pretty much stuck with this until Google improves. All right, thanks for tuning in.